Dude, Hofstra, you gotta get that dagger. It's nutty. I don't wanna play dagger, though, these, these days. <laughs> I mean, hitting soulbound on stuff's still pretty easy. Yeah. Besides, that new dagger actually is kind of fun to use. <laughs> Alright, then I'll take it. I wasn't going to. Do you not have it. one? Uh, no, but I'll, I'll get one here. <laughs> Yep. Whatever. It's a fad zero, but I've got the bow, so I'm good. Oh, did you actually get the dagger? Yeah, I told you. Oh, oh okay. Sure. Hey guys, Hofstra here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on the Corruption Cutter. As you just saw, I predicted it like a god, and it dropped from the Cursed Library. So I hear about the 30 FPS, I just reset my computer, so I didn't know that I was recording at 30 FPS, and it looks really ugly. Anyway, the shots are going to look like this. Uh, as you can see, the true range is actually about 3 um, on the dagger. If you look at the tiles in front of me, uh, then it starts diverging. But if you fire 3 shots, and then start shooting it again, uh, the true range becomes 4. Uh, it's kind of a glitch with the game, but this, I believe, is the default setting. So actually firing three shots will bring it down to the three range, which you don't want. And I believe it resets when you go through a portal. Anyway, it's going to be doing 75 to 85 damage with a range of 5.6, but as you just saw, the range is actually smaller uh, because, you know, to hit both shots, you have to be three or four tiles away. It has a rate of fire of 130% and a fame bonus of five. So the dagger looks pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, let's jump onto the DPS graphs and see how this dagger does. All right, so as you can see here, the dagger has a pretty good advantage, uh, j just about 400 DPS up until around 31 uh, defense. That's when the Aetherite and the Cedric are going to be taking over, as you can see on the graph here. And then with the top tier dagger, uh, it's going to be better up until about 71 defense. Then it takes a massive hit as defense gets higher since you have those low damage shots. Uh, they're going to start hitting really low. I actually thought this dagger was pretty bad when I first started using it until I got buffed uh, by Paladin and a Warrior. And then I just tore through everything. Also, it's really good for Godlands, especially if you have the Cloak of the Mad God. Because you could just cloak, stand on things, and kill them pretty quickly with a dagger. I mean, you could do it with an Aetherite, but as you can see here, gods usually only have about 13 or 10 defense. So you'll still be doing about 200, 250 more DPS if you're going to use the new D-Blade. So... That's pretty much it for the item description. I think it's pretty cool, and I'm definitely looking forward to getting that seal uh, next up. Or maybe the uh, the bow that's kind of like a void bow. I literally saw two people get it today. I'm kind of mad about that. But, you know, it's alright, because I know one of these days it'll come to me, whether it be in a mystery box, an event chest, or from the boss. By the way, uh, don't buy the mystery boxes. Uh, not spell spray deck up. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the gameplay, and I'll see you in the next one.